On this episode of the Testudo Talk podcast, I'm running solo, but we have an interview today with Jahari Long. He's a guard on the Maryland men's basketball team. Uh, great conversation. Talked a lot about last year, uh, maybe some of the things that uh, he thinks he can improve on his game, what he's improving on. Uh, we also talked about moving forward, you know, this upcoming season for the team. Uh, some of the newcomers, you know, it gives us insight into that, some of the new coaches, et cetera. And obviously, you know, he's a long relationship with Kevin Willard. So uh, some discussion on that as well. Uh, thank you for listening. As always, uh, I'm running solo this week, um, but good interview. Uh, we're going to have a couple of these coming in the coming weeks uh, as we near closer to the beginning of football preview season. That should come in a little over a month. Um, but for now, we're going to be you know, providing some interviews with some people that you know maybe can provide some insight into you know the, the inner workings of Maryland athletics. Uh, we appreciate you listening. Uh, we'll jump right into the interview. I'll, uh, I'll cut the intro short and not waste too much of your time. Uh, but yeah, thanks for listening. Here's uh, the interview with Jahari Long. Well, we now welcome on a special guest. It's Jahari Long, a guard on the Maryland men's basketball team. Jahari, thank you for your time. Uh, I know you're always busy, you know, with all sorts of team activities. Uh, first off, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Just uh, had a great day of working out. Um, I feel great. Good to hear. Um, before we start, I know you're a big Houston Rockets fan. You know, we just had the draft and summer league starting up. Uh, what do you think of the team so far? I think we'll be great. We have a uh, we're a very young athletic team, so I feel like if we could use that to our advantage, you know, playing a transition, we'd be all right. Awesome. Well, now we can get into some you know Maryland stuff. Um, you know, you just wrapped up your your first year at Maryland, uh, or well, I shouldn't say just wrapped up, but you know, you're now now going into your second year with the Terps. How would you kind of sum up your first year with Maryland? You know, as a transfer from Seton Hall coming into the program, what was that experience like? Uh, it was fun. It was, um, very experimental. Um, I was able to, um, get back as far as getting back from my injury. I was able to like rehab and do all the right stuff to um, make my body better. So, um, coach Willer, um, told me from the start that this would be a good chance for me to do that. So I took the opportunity and ran with it. I feel like, um, this upcoming year would be far better than, um, my previous year. So um, last year, I feel, was a great learning experience for me. There's all sorts of great moments during the year. I know the fans have their favorites. Is there a specific moment for you that stood out as maybe your favorite moment from your first season with the Terps? Uh, I would say the start that we had to the year when we won the tournament. And um, was it Connecticut? We won a tournament. Right, there. yeah. Um, that was exciting. We had um, so much fun just hanging together, being around each other. Um, I would say our game against Purdue and then our long road trip when we had um, – when we played Minnesota and Michigan State, we um, we were gone for like a week. So we were able to um, hang with each other, and that was a very fun time. What is it like for you guys on the road trip? I mean, obviously, you guys spend so much time together during the season. What is that dynamic like? Like, what do you guys do for fun when you guys are out on the road or even at home? What, what, what do you guys, you know, like to do for fun to kind of bond with each other? Uh, play Madden, play 2K. Um, during that time, it was like basketball season. So we would watch other games. We would watch NBA games. We would talk about the NBA. And um, what else? That would mainly be it. Just hang out in each other's room. That was about it. Was there anyone that you, you know, felt like you were closest with, you know, as, as the season went on, as you, you started to, you know, get to know everyone better? Um, I would probably have to say Hakeem, because we were, um, we would play the game a lot together. And Ju, um, those two, we were on the game a lot together, just laughing. Um, but I had a good relationship with everybody on last year's team from, you know, the freshmen all the way to Donald Carey. Um, we were all pretty close. We all um, got a relationship with each other and um, it was special. What do you think was like the biggest adjustment you had to make as a player from getting to Maryland, then completing your first season, then to now? How do you think your game has evolved what facet has evolved the most, would you say? Um, I feel like my shooting, 
um, my reads, my handles. I've gotten um, – my athleticism has gotten better. But I think that all came with um, my body getting better from previous injuries. Um, during the year, I had a groin injury. I had a hamstring injury, and I was dealing with that. But um, with the training staff that we have here, they helped me get back from that pretty smoothly. And right now, I just feel like I'm the best I've been – since I've been in college, actually. I'm sure it helps to be kind of playing alongside Jameer Young, you know, an all-league player. Uh, what was it like, you know, that process after the season ends, no one really knows where he's going to go, and then he decides to come back. What was the team's reaction when he decided to come back? And what's it like for you to, you know, go against a guy like that every day in practice? Um, it was exciting. I felt like um, I could have did a lot more to help him, so I'm glad that he's coming back. I feel like we could play off each other very well because we're both point guards. We both know how to read the game. So um, I was actually kind of happy that he came back, especially with the comp competing that we did in practice. It made me a better player, and I felt like I could make him a better player. So I was actually excited. I feel like we could do something special with this group that we have. And what, what does a summer practice, you know, when you guys are going against each other, what does a summer practice look like, you know, compared to maybe an in-season practice where you guys have games to look forward to and stuff? What, what are you guys doing differently now this time of year? Um, this time of year, practices, as as of right now, we're, we're trying to get everybody into it, um, like what we do on a daily basis. So um, practices have been kind of short, just working our way into, you know, our offense, our defense, um, how we work in practice. It's all just been teaching moments. But as the year goes on, practices get longer. Everybody's pretty much acquainted with what we do. So um, practices run more smoothly. They're more competitive when everybody knows exactly what they're supposed to do. Um, it makes it more difficult when everybody knows what you want to do. But that's the exciting part, just um, being creative and figuring out how to still get your game off in that situation. Well, I, I would say there there are a few guys out there that are as familiar with Kevin Willard's system as you are, you know, having played for him at Seton Hall and now at Maryland. How has that relationship helped you, you know, that continuity of going to play for him at Seton Hall, coming to play for him at Maryland? How has that relationship helped you grow as a player and as a person? Um, it's helped me a lot. It's, um, it's built my confidence to um, teach others, but it's also built my confidence as a player. Just um, being around somebody who knows my situation, it's made me comfortable with um, my play style and how – I play in games, how I play in practice. Everything is just more confident. Brian, you also said, you know, you're getting a lot of guys are getting acquainted to this new system, um, specifically with some of the newcomers. What have you seen from them and them getting kind of familiar with this system, familiar with the style of play, et cetera? What have you seen from them in these, you know, the short time that they've been on campus? Um, they learn quickly. Um, they're... Um, they're hungry. They they want to play. They want to play right away. I feel like um, they make us better, like, right off the bat as far as the way they play, the way they defend, the way they, you know, with Jamie shooting, the way Deshaun plays, the way John plays. They're um, aggressive players. Like, as soon as they stepped on campus, um, I actually like that. That I feel like that's the main thing that you have to do to make it in college, just um, be confident right from – be confident right from the jump. And I feel like they've been doing a great job with that. Also, Braden, he's been confident in his game. And it's hard being a young big coming in with Ju and Cal and Tay. He's been able to um, evolve his game as well. So I feel like that's special. Have you kind of felt yourself turning into a bit of a mentor as you get older into your career, you know, for these young guys where maybe you used to be in their position where you were looking towards older guys for advice, but do you find yourself maybe now teaching them a little bit as they get more used to the college game? Uh, yes, I find myself teaching them because um, the the guards that I had in front of me at Seton Hall with um, Bryce Aiken and Shavar Reynolds, um, they taught me. They taught me um, a lot of things as far as defensively, offensively, and just how to be confident in my game. And I want to make sure I could do that with these young guys while also um, finding confidence in myself because this is like – I feel like this is my first real year of college basketball as far as being healthy. So um, I feel like um, as far as leading by example and leading by talking, 
I'll be able to do that more efficiently this year. What do you kind of expect your role to be, or what do you, what do you think you're capable of now that you're, you know, fully back? I know you had to get surgery last year um, before the season, you know, now that you're saying fully healthy, what what do you expect your role to be? What do you expect to, you know, kind of contribute to the team? Um, I expect to bring in more scoring, more, I expect to be one of the best defensive players in the league. And I think that just comes from watching film and just practicing, um, just being confident. And um, I expect to bring in a lot of IQ. I feel like I can be one of the um, premier guards in this league and not only in this league, but in the country. And I think that just comes from keeping my head down and just working, just um, learning from other people as well, just having an open mind. And there's been some movement on the coaching staff as well. Some, you know, some guys leaving that were on the staff last year. Now you got some guys coming in like Mike Jones, et cetera. How has that turnover, you know, affected you guys as players? And how do you feel like the new staff is shaping up? Uh, it's been great. Um, funny story is that Mike Jones, he, co- he coached me at the um, top 100 camp when I was in high school. So I already knew who he was. And then when he got here, I didn't tell him to like the summer came because he had got here in the spring, but I didn't tell him to the summer came. I was like, you probably don't remember, but you coached me in uh, the top 100. And we had a little laugh about that. He said he remembered that team and he remembered me as well. So um, the staff has been great. Um, I've gotten a relationship with um, the new, actually, I'm not sure what he is, but his name is Rick, Ricky Harris. I've gotten a relationship with him. And um, really the whole staff, it's been great. We've all um, gelled pretty smoothly since everybody's been here. And, you know, a lot of the staff right now, they're out recruiting, et cetera. This is a busy time of year for that. What role do you guys play, members of the team, in terms of, you know, kind of when, when, when maybe a recruit comes on campus, you know, what, what, is, what is your responsibility when that happens? Um, just to show them how hard we work and um, how much we enjoy working with whether the coaches are here or not, just um, showing them how much we enjoy the sport here and how great it is to just be a Terp, how much of a privilege it is to be a Terp. So we just show them how hard we work. You know, I, I can see behind you, you have you know, all sorts of great Maryland players uh, you know, on the wall, all sorts of great coaches. Is there a player that maybe you kind of model your game after that that you try to emulate, whether it be Maryland or maybe – Anywhere else, just is there someone that you kind of have looked up to as a role model? Um, from Maryland, I would say I watched a lot of old games from Maryland players after I committed here. So I would say Steve Francis because he played for the Houston Rockets. Maybe I'm not as athletic as him, but as far as like the speed and the quickness and all of that type of stuff and like the handles, I try to emulate that stuff. But um, players like that I try to model my game after, maybe be Kyrie Irving, C.J. McCollum. Um, I watch Shea Gilders Alexander. And, yeah, that's about it. Great. And, and I appreciate your time. I just have two more questions for you. Um, first off, what excites you most about the next season? Uh, you know, obviously you guys had a great season last year made the NCAA tournament, won an NCAA tournament game, uh, won a lot of big games during the regular season as well. What excites you most about maybe trying to take that next step next season and, you know, have even more success potentially? Uh, for me, mainly, is just being able to play more and just be more comfortable with my body. But as a team, I feel I'm most excited for the road games because I know we struggled on the road last year. So um, those were long pr- playing rides back home. I feel like um, this year we should win more road games just because of the team that we have. And mentally, we've been through the struggle of playing on the road. So I feel like now that we've been through that, we'll be better as a team. And last question, I know you guys have a a big trip coming up uh, abroad. How excited are you to to go to Italy and, you know, experience that? Yeah, I'm very excited. Mainly, I'm excited to just um, play with the team, actually. But I'm excited for the trip as well, just to um, eat different foods, because that's the main thing I've heard about Italy, that they have great food everywhere. So I'm pretty excited about that. Absolutely. Well, I definitely recommend it and hope you guys have a great time. Uh, Thank you, Jahari. This has been great. I appreciate your time as always. And uh, thank you for coming on the show.
Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Jari.